Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Z and welcome back. We are so, I, I'm personally, I am so happy to be back. You guys have no idea. We always stop uploads during the month of December. There's way too much going on, craziness. And so we are finally back officially for the new year. Happy new year, everybody. First off, I want to say that. Um, and as you guys know, I was shut down for leaking uh, the zombie gameplay. Stop right there, criminal scum. Um... But we will be live streaming, we'll be back up here. It, it should be sometime towards the end of this month or the beginning of next month. So yes, live streams will be back. I actually, I wanted to live stream this video because I wanted to have like an actual community discussion where you guys could chime in and get your, give me your opinion, stuff like that. If you ain't talking money, I don't want to talk. Um... Because I had a subscriber, actually, is the one that messaged me, and he said, go watch the top 10 Call of Duty zombie Easter eggs by Watch Mojo." And so I was, I was getting ready to watch it, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I want to record my reaction and do a video for you guys, and then you guys can comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this list and how crazy all this is. So let's, let's just get into it, guys. Enough of that. I just want to do a channel update. Oh, my, my 2K sub subscriber video is coming out i'm gonna be working on that's the very next project i'm working on i have ton of exclusive zombie merchandise posters i have the no j456 posters some glitching queen stuff all of that i'm gonna be getting that out to you guys in that video so it's lit but let's get it started I'll, i'm i'm pumped up let's do this i haven't done a video in a month and today we're it's at been the top too long call of duty shut the fuck up you zombie East too Rams. damn long <laughs> getting everything wrong before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great stuff. For this list, we're taking a look at every Easter egg in every popular Call of Duty Zombies map, and picking out what we found made going off the map. not too loud. From hidden cutscenes to boss fights Turn to crazy weapons, doing these Easter eggs will give you a sense of accomplishment, achievement or no achievement. Okay. I love Gorgon's Grove. It's a little, the picture's a little pixelated. Because I'm streaming, so I hope it clears up. The hidden music. Multiple Call of Duty games. Hell yeah, dude! I love the soundtracks. Music became a small hidden staple for the series. However, <laughs> it was Verdict that helped to shine light on the amazing talents of Elena Siegman and Kevin Sherwood, both lending their talents for future songs in the Zombies soundtrack, like Shino Numa's "The One," Dare Rises, "Beauty of Annihilation," and Kino dude, Kino "Beauty of Annihilation." It's not only just the greatest zombie song ever, but it's a, one of the greatest songs in itself. Along with artists like Eminem and Avenged Sevenfold. It Eminem, certainly helps I forgot to have some kick-ass music while you're fighting, right? Yes. Number nine, Dare Rise, Fly Trap. World at War, Black Ops, and Black Ops 3. Dare Rise. I pronounce it Darese, personally, but that's just me. monstrosities sent after everyone. But she's still a child who loves to play games. After a pack of punching any weapon, you must shoot the wooden panel in the alley to start her game, which requires you to find all the eight hidden items on the map. This marked the first interactive Easter egg in Call of Duty Zombies maps, and it was surprisingly it was. entertaining. The Easter egg certainly tests your knowledge of the map, while also giving you a small break from fighting the hordes, provided none are chasing you at the time. Unfortunately, Samantha's kind of a sore loser and yeah, provides you with nothing for winning her game. Don't you freak back, see how this is always gonna go. Number eight, Revelations for the good of all. Black Ops. They put the Revelations at eight, huh? Okay. Call of Duty Zombies has come a long way from being a minor side game to a full blown series with an actual story to tell, but all stories must come to an end. After erasing your other selves, the time has come to finally take down the Shadow Man. Moving between the dimensions man. in time to revisit old maps is kind of a blast. I'm really surprised that Revelations to one final showdown against the Shadow man himself. came in at such a low number. Number eight? Just behind the fly trap? Which is like is one of the, the simplest Easter egg out there. But we think the ending cutscene alone is worth it. Because we get to see Malcolm McDowell send all our heroes to become the Knights Templar. Sweet. That's crazy. That's actually crazy, bro. Number seven. Call of the Dead, Stand In, 
Black Ops. Call of the Dead. The original crew appears to be I could see that. I could see Call of the Dead landing at number seven. Coming from I'd agree with that. Door. It turns out that Rick Tofen still can't get the teleporter working properly, and the four are now stuck in here, meaning it's up to the actors, turned zombie killing machines, to help them out. Is anyone out there? Call of the Dead is one of my favorite maps. Top three. Top three, ladies and gentlemen, I'm calling it. how it's just a temporary power up. I love Call of the Dead. Between the actors and the original cast that steals the show here. It's just too bad we can't get the door open and have a full eight man zombie killing team. What's this button do? <laughs> That'd be lit if we open up the door. Yo, if they remaster Call of the Dead and we have eight man teams, oh my god. Because they could do that with Mob of the Dead. the difficulty of choosing four perks out of the eight available. Yeah, aside from Juggernaut, of course. Well, thanks to a mysterious treasure hidden in a jungle like temple, you can feel the ultimate power of owning all eight perks, but only you. It's mine. I wouldn't have put Shangri-La up there. Shangri-La was a terrible While Easter egg, doesn't all that much lore or Oh story, my god. The power of eight never-ending perks makes it worth doing. And I hated it, it. Your whole team can get the never-ending power, too. Yeah, who wants to repeat that shit three times? Are you fucking kidding me? Number five, Garod Kruvi, Love and War, Black Ops 3. Garod Kruvi's also in my top Here five maps. I... And Max. I'm surprised the Easter egg. Let's put it this way. Zombies are the least of your concern. As part of the origin crew, you've come to a race over revelations. Dragon stand in your way, so you'll need to work together to reach the original Russian. Your bravery is matched only by your drunkenness, Nikolai. Aside from the awesome dragons in this Easter egg, including being able to summon them for help, it's the fact that it leads up to two epic final boss fights, one after the other, that makes working towards this Easter egg all the more worth it. Hey, anyone remember when this series was just about killing Nazi zombies? In my heart, <laughs> I remember the same pain as you. Number four, Origins, Little Lost Girl, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 3. See, I don't Wanna know go about that. By prey, get their scent all over you. Time to turn back the clock. I don't know if I'd put Origins that low. Starting what will be the end of the original storyline. This Easter egg is. I would almost have Origins at number one if it others. wasn't for They'll like the all the importance and of one all map. Giant robots to get this Easter egg going. I think we're inside the robot's head. Wielding the staves is half the fun though, as you'll get even more destructive powers with the three robots attacking G-Strike locations and the crazy Thunder Punch Iron Fist melee attacks. If you can actually rein your destructive tendencies in, you'll find an intriguing little cutscene at the end, featuring two major characters. You get to make the rules. I promise. Number three, Der Eisendrak, my brother's keeper, Black Ops 3. With the the back, I'm surprised that landed at number Easter three. It wasn't just fun, but it also acted as a landmark for it's another zones. another top five map, Der Eisendrak, hands down. Before. They were more or less just a distraction or a small challenge. Having to work together as a team to bring down the Keeper is challenging, though. And your reward is launching missiles to blow up the moon, which is a nice little nod to another zombie's Easter egg. The road is long and dark, but I know where we are going. With all that said and done, we're treated to a heartfelt goodbye to the memorable Tank Dempsey. Hoorah, old friend. Hoorah. Number two, Mob of the Dead. Pop goes the weasel. Black Ops 2. I expect him Mob of the Dead. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Luke. I was waiting for Mob of the Dead. Mo Mob of the Dead is such a loved map. They still determined to escape this hellish nightmare, revealing that this isn't their first attempt. And you build a fucking plane, dude. A fucking plane! You build it. Or a glider. And killing the weasel, it's a the glider. Are sentenced to the electric chair and have been forced to relive the cycle over and over. Making use of unique mechanics, such as loosening your coil on the mortal plane, this is a crazy Easter egg in an equally crazy map. It's up to the players in the end to choose whether or not to break or continue the endless cycle. Ah, come on, who are we kidding? Start it up again. Woo! Asagavra. Hell's Retriever. Number one, Moon. Richtofen's God. grand scheme. They put the Moon at number one? Oh, hell no. The moon would be in top ten. Has had quite the adventure. But it would not be number Time one. Space to film no. Sets, and movie theaters. So, it only really makes sense for them to No, on no the way. They put Moon at number one, dude. It turns out, though, that Rick Have Cohen they even played this game? This entire time, as it slowly revealed that he had planned to wrestle control of the zombies away from Samantha for his own. Completing this Easter egg oh, won't just give Rick Tofin control over the zombies, but will give all players the eight perks, which you can celebrate over watching the mad scientist blow up Earth. Good stuff. That was sick. 
<laughs> bye bye, diggers. I think Moon was the first Easter egg I did solo. And and the Do you agree with our picks? One. Check out oh these my other god, dude, that's, Mojo and subscribe oh, for new videos that's every day. Crazy, bro. Okay. So Moon at number one, I, I can't get behind that. I just can't. It, it would definitely be in top ten because it was such an important Easter egg to pay the road. See, now here's where I struggle. I don't even know if I'd put the fly trap and the songs as nine and ten. Like they were cool little Easter eggs, but important wise I mean, top 10 best Easter eggs were the music Easter eggs? No. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. No, there's too many There's too many important ones to waste a spot on that. And then number nine, the fly trap. Like, don't get me wrong. The fly trap was really important. Like, the fly trap paved the way to the multi-stage Easter eggs. You know, the, the multiple steps that you have to do in Easter eggs. But... I, I wouldn't waste a spot on it because there's too many Easter eggs that are way too important to the storyline and to, you know, what happens after that and how the story progresses and things. I'll tell you what my number one would be. My number one Easter egg would have to be Ascension just because of the importance of Ascension. Ascension was the first Easter egg where there were like eight, nine steps. It took people forever to figure out. I don't remember what, what the original time frame for figuring out the Ascension Easter egg was. But I feel like it was like weeks or months even. I, I, I don't remember back that far. I just remember watching Spider Bite and NGT try to figure this Easter egg out. And it was crazy. It was mind-blowing. It was like, what is going on in zombies right now? Like, it was so cool. And then when you see that rocket launch and it explodes. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, boys. Oh, my God. That, that shit was amazing. Um, and at number two, I think I would have to put... I don't know. Number two, I think I have to go Origins. Because Origins was the first Easter egg that gave us uh, kind of a boss fight. Origins kind of introduced the boss fight concept. Especially with the eight panzers you have to kill. And then, also, it was the first Easter egg that gave us a cutscene. I think. I can remember right origins was the first cutscene we ever got in zombies and everybody's like holy fuck and that that was so mind-blowing i wasn't even expecting a cutscene in zombies until revelation going into black ops 3 i was like we won't see another zombie cutscene till dlc 4 revelations um we'll have the trailers if you consider the trailers cutscenes but an actual like in-game end game easter egg cutscene i didn't think we'd get that till revelations and then not only did they have the trailers you know the zombie trailers and music videos then they had all this other stuff they had cutscene intros uh easter egg cutscenes um then you had the little storyline cutscenes where it would just you know you see it was like one character like rick toffing monologuing and those are trailers but still you get my point like origins had the first cutscene so you have to put that at number two you just have to and ascension with how important it was and origins they have to take one and two now you could make an argument for kino and for darius with the fly traps but those weren't I mean, there weren't really Easter eggs. I mean, what what's surprising is Kino came after Doris, and uh, Doris's was more of a Easter egg than Kino had, by far. So I don't I don't know. And I know Five had some Easter eggs and things like that, but I consider the first, the OG, the first true multi-step Easter egg to be Ascension, and I think that has to go one Origins two. I don't even know where to begin, where I would put three. And I'm, I'm talking Easter egg wise, okay? Because I'm going to do a separate video. I'm probably, I want to do a live stream so we can actually talk about it and maybe get some guests in here like Reaper and them and have a discussion because I'm going to be doing my top 10 zombie maps. We're talking just Easter egg strictly here. So don't get your panties in a bunch and be like, oh, that map sucked. Maybe it did, but the Easter egg was extremely important. So you have to take that into effect. And, um, I don't know, like, Mob of the Dead might be third. It it really might be. Mob of the Dead was just so fucking cool, man. Like, you had to build the airplane, then you could upgrade the Tomahawk, and then the Acid Gat, and then you... There was a mini Easter egg where you could get a second Acid Gat. I think it was the first 
besides Origins, maybe it, I think it was the first map where more than one player could have the Wonder Weapon. And that was crazy. That was absolutely insane. And, uh, yeah, because then Origins came along and we had the four staffs, and then Doris did it with the bows. And so, I mean, God, I would, I think I would have to put that third, I think. But I don't know. I'm not going to go through and do all top ten. I'm just saying this list is a little crazy for my taste. I don't think that I would waste two slots on a music Easter egg and then another slot on the fly trap. Like, you just don't do it. There's, there's too many important easter eggs out there to do that so those are my thoughts and opinions guys like i said we're going to be coming back i got the 2k subscriber giveaway going um and we're going to be live streaming again at the end of the month until then i kind of want to get back into doing some of my shorter funnier videos like the five to ten minute long videos i know you guys really like where i talk about discussions and topics and i have zombie gameplay and funny memes mixed in and all that shit and uh so i want to i want to get at least five or ten of those out before we start live streaming again towards the end of the month or the beginning of next month, um, whenever that is. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. What would be your top 10 or even top five most important Easter eggs? Because I don't agree with most of this list. I don't agree with some of it. I could see them landing in that spot. Like, um, you know, like uh, Call of the Dead being in like number seven or eight or six, whatever it was. Um, I could see it being right around in that area, but I, I still don't know. But as always, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. You don't have to, but I <laughs> hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching. I am the one and only Z.